Valorant took the gaming industry by storm, as YouTubers, Twitch streamers, and even professional gamers joined the frenzy. But recently, the game disabled its competitive queue due to a game-breaking bug. Plus, there wasn't any official explanation for all this. Fans were making assumptions left and right. Everyone just had one question, why? Well, keep watching the video to find out all the deets. Firstly, let's talk about their competitive queue. Valorant competitive Competitive mode is one of the most popular features in the game. Gamers enjoy testing their skills against opponents and climbing higher. To unlock this mode, you must have an account level of 20 and must have played 10 unrated matches. After completing your initial 10 unrated games, you'll have to play 5 placement ones. Through this, one can determine which rank a player belongs in based on performance. It's possible that you can complete these matches with friends, but if the game detects a discrepancy, you might have to play alone. Another thing here is that your hidden matchmaking ranking, determined from unrated matches, will add to your initial rank, but the competitive queue has been disabled without any prior notice. So what exactly is the issue? Sadly, developers can't plan everything, with new players logging into the game all the time. Remember the bug surrounding Astra and her abilities? This means that even Valorant has had its fair share of these game breakers. Players are placed in a 5v5 plant and diffuse setting. But how are these different? The characters are the answer to why. A professional player, Jordan Zelsis Montemuro, discovered the game-breaking bug, which targets flashes and negates their effects. If you go into the settings menu and toggle hide user interface in-game, any incoming flashes are entirely rendered useless. Zelsis tried this with a teammate in between rounds with a fellow on his team. Plus, he also tried it with an enemy phoenix, which again had no effect. Effect. He recorded a video of all this and posted it online. Within just hours, his video had received a ton of viewing, and after this, Riot Games took immediate notice of this bug. They disabled the competitive queues to fix the bug. This is standard protocol for the Valorant developer to preserve integrity. Around 4 a.m. on the 10th of August, the queue was disabled on the Asia-Pacific, EU, and OCE servers. This left the players baffled. The bug came on the same day that Valorant patch 5.03 shipped. If we look at the post, the reproduction rate is 100%, as long as you follow the singular step. Talking about patch notes for patch 5.03, the game updated its engine to Unreal Engine 4.26. This improves the toolset available to developers, but is likely to go unnoticed. Why? Because the goal of any engine update is to happen under the radar. It was also mentioned that some issues were primarily because of the UI misbehaving. The problem wasn't as subtle as we would have hoped. After disabling this feature, gamers could only play modes like Spike Rush, Deathmatch, and Replication. These game-breaking bugs are a joy kill, but given Riot Games' track record, they've usually been quick to fix these issues. Next, what did Velo fans have to say about this? Fans took it to Reddit to discuss the bug and the fact that the queue had been disabled. Also, they all wanted to know more about what was happening. One user questioned whether the exploit is enabled when a bird pops in front of an enemy in the video. Another gamer replied that everything looks like it works for the enemy, you just aren't affected. One fan even jokingly said, sorry, Zelsis broke your game, because he was the first to encounter the issue. Others are also facing many frame skip issues in addition to this flash bug. A Twitter user said the packet loss is insane, and the frame skips 10 out of 10 updates. A few players revealed that they found the bug after installing patch 5.03. How does that matter? This makes the bug older than initially anticipated. Adding to this, people are surprised that the issue took this long to be discovered, but cheaters must have taken full advantage of the flash bug during a competitive match at some point. Some members believe that the developers are trying their best, as the exploit only surfaced on their feed recently. On the other hand, most players were quick to blame Riot Games. One user was confident that the bug was already mentioned in the patch notes. If we consider this, it's it's confusing why this wasn't tested before release. And did the bug get resolved? Riot Games announced that they're looking into the problem, but that's the only update we have. They have not yet confirmed when this problem will be resolved, but we hope that the feature is up and running soon. Now onto other news. First of all, a Tower of Fantasy player discovers a bug. The new free-to-play action game has had a rocky launch. Several players slammed into its servers and were met with queues and errors 
errors, preventing them from getting into the game. This isn't the first instance of this happening, as more and more errors have been happening lately. People are facing all kinds of bugs and glitches, slipping underneath the map, and getting thrown right into the endgame. One massive bug that a Twitch streamer found is that the game turns into a completely different genre. This glitch has squished the gamer's 3D anime character into a 2D character. As he circles the camera around his character standing in the 3D valley, we see that he looks extremely Paper Mario. We're not yet clear on how this glitch operates. The player realized that if they sit their character in a turret and exit quickly, they become super thin. There's a lot of speculation around this and we think it may be an animation bug. The Twitch streamer even got questioned by someone if the glitch was essential to progress in the game. To this, he replied that it's important because they don't see him coming when he approaches the enemy. The developer addressed the game's shortcomings and promised to tackle them while compensating players with in-game currency. Up next, the gaming industry feels squeezed after the pandemic boom. The gaming industry boomed during the pandemic, offering people solace in hard times. But now that life is returning to normal with soaring inflation, gaming giants are feeling the effect. Manufacturers of gaming consoles, software, and accessories are experiencing the same effect as companies who saw the business boom during COVID-19. At the start of the pandemic, people went to Twitch in great numbers, streamers and viewers. Brandon Williams says that some people have stopped streaming now. They were burnt out or gaming wasn't for them. One glaring issue was that gamers didn't have enough time as they had to go back to their office jobs. Twitch's viewership has decreased drastically, but remains above what it was back in 2019. Also, the global price surge adds to the whole situation. An analyst noted that gamers are making different choices due to these reasons. People aren't even spending on mobile games that much anymore. An analyst feels that now with things going back up, people are busy and video game channels are just background noise. Streamers and these channels are just lurking right now. The pandemic changed the gameplay and video games went beyond the economic arena. Want more? Players found comfort in all of this, giving rise to multiple trends. Remember the explosion of Animal Crossing and the obsession with sustaining virtual towns? Well, that seems to have died down now. Also, Activision Blizzard reported something. Sales in the year's first half declined. Even Nvidia recently issued an earnings warning because of the declining game revenues. Anticipated releases such as Starfield and Suicide Squad are also delayed. But on the brighter side, this could be beneficial in the long run. New titles are like a wild card at this point, as players want to get their hands on hot releases. We hope the game market stabilizes soon and returns to steady growth in the coming year. Finally, a leak reveals the return of Fall Guys and Doom crossover collab. When the Doom Eternal skins first appeared in Fall Guys, players could buy them using a premium currency. Now, you'll be using Show Bucks to make purchases, as that option isn't available. The crossover between Fall Guys and Doom was announced in early 2021. Doom Slayer is making a big comeback to tear through the Battle Royale game. The reboot by Bethesda and id Software was released in 2016. This episode followed the fourth game, Doom 4. The game was a quick hit with players and revived the entire brand. According to a Fall Guys leaked Twitter account, we'll see him returning to the game on the 18th of August. Previously, the account has been known for publishing accurate leaks and information. The leaker revealed that each skin would cost around 1,200 show bucks, given you want to purchase them separately. But if you're going to get them all at once, you could do so for 1,800 show bucks. If you're considering purchasing these, make sure you prepare ahead, because the Sonic the Hedgehog event could wipe out your currency. That's a wrap for this video. What are your thoughts on Valorant disabling their competitive queue due to a game-breaking bug? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.